Skyward Tales, The Chronicles of Sir Thumper and the Verdant Valley In the heart of Verdant Valley, where the grass whispered secrets to the wandering wind, there stood a quaint cottage with a roof that arched like a dozing dragon's spine. Its walls, a canvas for the ivy's embrace, held windows that gleamed with the promise of warmth and welcome. Not far from this dwelling of dreams, a grand cathedral stretched its spires towards the heavens, its gothic silhouette a silent ode to the majesty of yesteryears. It was in this serene sanctuary that Sir Thumper, the rabbit of remarkable repute, made his home. With fur as white as the dawn's first light and attire that spoke of countless tales, he was the valley's most dashing denizen. His olive jacket, adorned with buttons of gold, matched his trousers and pilot's cap, a testament to his adventurous spirit. In his paw, a picnic basket hinted at a penchant for delightful repasts, but it was the biplane that stood proudly behind him that told the true tale of his heart's deepest desires. The aircraft, a masterpiece of green and cream, was more than mere metal and canvas. It was a comrade in every escapade that cut through the clouds. Today, Sir Thumper was poised for a new adventure. He checked his pocket watch, its hands dancing towards the hour of their rendezvous. His friends awaited him in a meadow kissed by the shade of the old oak tree, a place where laughter and stories flowed as freely as the nearby brook. With a heart buoyed by the beauty of his abode, Sir Thumper approached his beloved biplane. The engine roared a greeting, and with goggles set over eyes alight with anticipation, he took to the skies. The world below transformed into a living mosaic of greens and golds, rivers like molten sunlight carving paths through the verdant expanse. Sir Thumper soared higher, his spirit as unbound as the birds that shared his path. And so, the aviator of Verdant Valley flew on, each beat of his heart a drumbeat to the rhythm of adventure, his story unfurling like the horizon that beckoned him ever forward.